I want to share with you guys what I'm currently reading. I am listening to an audiobook on Scribd called Miss Kim Knows. Okay, and this is by Cho Nam Ju. Cho Nam Ju is the author who, Korean author who wrote one of my favorite, uh, Kim Jong. Born 1982. Oh my goodness. It was one of my favorite translated works for the year. So she then came out with a, I'm about 47 minutes uh, left from finishing it, which I'm really, really excited about. I'm not going to listen to it now though. No. Um, um, I think I'm actually going to take a nap. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired guys, but I'm feeling much better than my last vlog. I do want to add I'm feeling much better than my last vlog, but there is medication that I'm on for a month. So I have to kind of take it every day. <sighs> anyway, this, oh my God, oh my God. So this is a short story. This is an anthology, right? So there's short stories and I love anthologies. Pers personally, I love them. Shoko, Smile, uh, uh, The Dangers of Smoking in Bed. For me personally, I love anthologies. It's my thing, man. You read a story, you put it down, come back to it later, read another story, you put it down. Anyway, so this one is called Miss Kim Knows and Other Stories. Miss Kim Knows is one of the stories in the book. Essentially, these sto stories follow different women um, in different phases of their lives. So one woman has been gaslit. Uh, by an abusive boyfriend. One woman is uh, going through, you know, the family, the women of that family especially are going through um, the, the tragedy or the disappearance of the father of the household and they are, you know, uh, uh, sort of navigating life through that. Even though one of the women knows that the father is alive, the daughter knows that the father is alive because he's using a credit card that she gets notifications on. Um, and so she knows exactly where he is and she tries to track him down and she, she can't get him. So it, it, it follows that these different types of women in different scenarios one of them is an older woman who has just gone through her life is so difficult constantly having to take care of either her child or her husband or her mother-in-law and she reaches the stage in her life where she's in her 50s late 50s and she's just tired she just doesn't want to do it anymore she doesn't want to be responsible to uh, be, be responsible uh, to look after people. She doesn't want to look after her grandchild. She actually says it. She doesn't want to look after her grandchild. She doesn't want to pick up her grandchild from school. She doesn't want to... She just wants to live her life. She feels like for all her life, she's been living her life for other people. And we're just following their stories, the emotions uh, that they are going through, all these different women. As I was saying... Miss Kim knows it's so, so good. I highly, highly recommend that you try it out, especially if you're on script or on any kind of audiobook platform. It's so, so good. And um, So I'm just going to take a moment, you know, uh, and I'll talk to you later. If I don't, I'm going to close off this video here. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do, actually, um, so that I can start recording the vlog for the next week. Okay, so please don't forget to like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Guys, it really does go a long way. I don't want to really get emotional about this this views thing and everything that's been happening on YouTube lately, but creators are really going through a tough time on YouTube. And I think if you've been following quite a few creators, they've been talking about it, especially in the South African space. They either leave YouTube or they talk about how the views are just really bad and, you know, um, something is going on, you know, and it's, it's, it sucks for uh, a lot of us. So please just um, click like, click subscribe. It really just does go a long way. Um, and if you can, I know a lot of you can't join the membership space because of your geographical position, wherever you may be, uh, your country doesn't allow as yet or something like that, then you can maybe drop me a thanks, which is somewhere 
by the description box somewhere below here um, it's a thanks and you can actually donate to the channel so that I can keep it going uh, because it's not looking great mate hey? and I don't want to have this I do want to have the chat let me know like maybe I should do a video about it and talk about it but I don't want to have this chat but at the same time I don't then want to be in such a bad mental funk because of YouTube and completely drop off the YouTube space platform uh, because I know myself and sometimes I, I could do that I could just randomly just disappear and call it a day and I really don't want to do that I love the space um, so all your support would be so appreciated a thanks a membership a like a subscribe whatever you can do um, but outside of that yeah I am gonna go I'll talk to you in the next vlog which will probably i'll probably start recording that vlog today or tomorrow
Let me tell you what time it is. It's 12. It's 12 p.m. on a Sunday. Man, there it is. Was I editing? Yes. Do I include this grainy footage in the vlog? Sure. Why not? Um, but I will talk to you guys once I leave my bed and go take a shower and <laughs> potentially try to make myself something to eat. I don't even know where to look here, I think. Can you guys see me or yeah. Um, so I've pretty much been uh for the past two hours editing a vlog in bed. I'm not going to be filming, I'm not going to be doing Vlogtober. I'm far too busy for Vlogtober. But what I can commit to is doing two, three videos a week. I think for for October, I can commit to doing three videos a week. Um, yeah, I think I can do that with the fact that I pre-record as well. So I often have quite a lot of content uh, that is sitting, let me show you actually, let me show you, I was drinking my tea, that's, that's my tea situation right there, um, I'm gonna show you my YouTube studio, this is what I mean, so the ones that are written Jessica Claire are videos that haven't been posted yet, so this one is also not posted yet. So this one, Jessica Cleo, this one, Jessica Cleo, not posted yet. This one is not posted yet. So when I tell you guys, this one is not posted yet. So when I tell you guys that I have, I shoot stuff and then I uh, edit it and then post it up onto YouTube, I just don't click publish yet. They're still all unlisted, as you can see. So all of them are unlisted. Um, but yeah, the one that went up yesterday is this one, which is called I'm Okay With Me. Uh, great for introverts. Let me try and flip you over. How do you flip over? How do you flip over? What so you... as I was saying, I was posting one up. I posted one up yesterday. It's a new series called I'm Okay With Me. I'm Okay With Me. Hashtag I'm Okay With Me. And it's for introverts. It's um, you know, dating introverts, uh, tips on dating if you're an introvert or if you're an extrovert who is with an introvert, just little bits and pieces of advice, whether when it comes to dating or any kind of relationships or work situations or whatever, I just want to provide the space where introverts can actually, um, engage and learn something new or, um, you know, try out something new to, you know, better themselves or better their lives, whether at work or in relationship settings, friendship settings, um, that kind of thing. But also a platform where extroverts and ambiverts can actually watch so that you may be able to understand your introverted friends or partners or family members a little bit better or colleagues a little bit better. Um, yeah, but outside of that, I'll talk to you guys when I'm showered and I'm ready and yeah okay um i'm finally ready and as expected my family did contact me when they were like five minutes from stepping out and they were like well are you still coming to lunch and i'm like guys come on so uh let me place you guys down for a sec so i'm just gonna make myself some ice water so that i can drink it on the road because it is so hot you know, it's that time of spring where just stepping out of the shower just makes you sweat. Like, if I could show you, look at this. Look at this. The white stuff is actually my product. But look at this. So hot. Um, and I'm going to be driving Diesel's car and it's parked outside. And I'm pretty sure it is so hot. Um, Diesel is gone. <laughs> Diesel is gone. He's actually traveled for work. So that's why I'm just available now. I'm just like, I'm this, can I visa? I'm this available hand now, you know? So he's traveled for work. He's coming back a week from now. So he, he brought me one of his cars and he was just like, you can use this one. I filled it up for you. Filled up the tank, washed your car. Here's some money until I get back. And I was just like, Jolang. <laughs> 
he's gonna he's gonna watch this and he's gonna be like why are you telling people all that shit what why why are you telling people the things that you do what's wrong with you so um yeah so yesterday i was kind of sad because i had to what is going on with me um so yesterday i was kind of sad because i had to drop him off at the airport and it was just a really really somber moment even though he's just gone for a week but he's like he's in another country so it's not like uh it's a 30 minute drive or whatever even though we, we during the week we don't really see each other because we're so busy but knowing that he's like an an international flight away what am i gonna do you know i've got time to spend with my family which is exciting hang on i'm just pouring the water so now we are going to of course as you guys know i'll always record using my phone i don't like taking my camera out for some odd reason i really just don't like taking my camera out lately but maybe i'll get back to that uh when i come back we will talk about vlogtober the spring box are playing today zig -zig -zig -zig. um there's a bunch of things that i want to talk to you guys about when i come back but i will use my phone I'm not going to be vlogging every day. I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm not going to be vlogging every day. I do not have the time to vlog every day. I'm coaching. I go to work every day. So I, I really just won't have the time. But I can promise three or even four videos a week. So that I can push. Sometimes it'll be a short video, 15 minutes. Sometimes it'll be a long video, a 40 minute long vlog whatever it may be, there will be extra unpopular opinions, there will be extra, um, uh, what are these, advice with cats, there will be extra, what's this other funny one, things I'm too old for, whatever, so I will try and push as much sit down video as I can, videos as I can, um, but I will also try and focus on vlogs a little bit more. I really haven't really been liking talking much in my vlogs, but I'm trying to get back to that. I really just like plonking the camera somewhere, making food, yada, yada, yada. But I will start trying talking a little bit more. Um, yeah, and there's a chat that I want us to, you know, I want us to talk about finances. I want us to just get into the nitty gritty in the vlogs, you know. So, yeah, don't... Don't take my vlogs for granted because you might think, oh my gosh, it's a long vlog and then watch the first 10 minutes when there's more stuff coming at 30 minutes of the vlog. So watch, watch the whole vlog and you'll learn something new, you'll pick up something, you'll whatever, you might be, I don't know. So let's, let's hit the streets. Where are Diesel's car keys? Because Cha, where are they Cha? I was a little bit nervous with driving his car for the whole i've done it before but it's really different when someone is in a different country you know what i'm saying so it's just like he's not readily available should anything happen he's not readily available so i was a little bit nervous and i was just like nah it's fine i'll park your car like in my garage call it a day drive my own cars whatever and he was like no i did this for you i got a wash for you i got it so please don't embarrass me. But you know what the problem is? Gamachi, daddy. Diesel, I can tell you 110,000% he likes his cars more than he likes me. Don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. His cars are not going to cook for him, give him babies, uh, give him great conversation, listen, introduce him to new things. So him and his cars can jump somewhere, okay? But my chat is, why did he not give me his favorite one? Yeah, but that's it's my chat. Why didn't he give me his favorite one? That is personally rude. If you ask me that is personally rude, I'm like, no, but why didn't you bring the other one? And he's like, no. <laughs> You're funny. That's what he said. Rude. Mm -hmm. 
Let me tell you something. Now, I'm sure I'll, let me sit down. I have this conversation with you guys. Let me tell you something. There is an event that I have to attend today. Okay? Firstly, I need to release my hair out of this nonsense. Ne? The reason why I wear this a lot of the time is because you'll find I'll have washed my hair or wet it and then put in leave-in conditioner and then I just yeah one so that when I release it and then I fluff it up with some water it's just okay but anyway hi gents I just came back from work work is nuts okay it's so nuts I just re October we are in a, you know the mental health awareness month in South Africa which is great because um, this is the one time I push mental health awareness on all my pl platforms. I make sure I talk about it and all of that because I am a mental health advocate. So I, it would be remiss of me not to speak about mental health, right? So today is going to be the first day I put up my first Vlogtober video. I'm hoping for the best. I'm trying to upload at least three or four videos a week. <laughs> At this point, I get some little na na working one among whose child do I think I belong to? I don't know. But the point of me sitting down here, it's because let me balance you. Uh, so the point of me sitting down here is because I have an event to attend later on this evening with my sister. Yes, uh, we both got invited. Okay, and uh, it's essentially where we get our nails done. And they have changed, they have revamped and renamed the name and all of that, and they're relaunching. So we got invited to the, the new launch. They've changed up the space and all of that. Very, very excited to see. Um, I'll probably be using my phone to vlog all of that. Where is my power bank? Okay, there it is. I'll probably be using my phone to vlog all of that. I don't want to lug this around. But here yeah, it's my problem. The theme, it's black. 
You know me. I don't struggle with black. But here's my issue. I don't know where in the yell I would begin. I have not thought this outfit out yet. I was so busy with work that I completely forgot. I remembered yesterday when my sister reminded me. And uh, then, then we talked about it today and we we're like, okay, now it's cool. My sister was actually here in my place in the afternoon because she was shooting some content and I had to be at work because there's some documentation that needed uh, to be submitted and handed in and um, they needed my sign off. So I had to be at work. So I gave her my spare keys. Goodness knows what my lady stole from my house. She probably stole something. She probably took something. I know for a fact that she had a drink because I can really see where my bottle is. Where the contents of my drinks bottles. Anyway, that's fine. It doesn't matter. So my whole issue is, I don't know what I'm going to wear. The event starts in two hours. And I'm literally just going to put a face on and change. Um, I, I, the, the whole re-showering, all of that, no, I'll probably do that when I get back home. I don't know how long I'm going to be there for. I really don't... If it were any other event, I probably wouldn't have gone because I'm so tired. I spend most of my days at work or coaching or editing. That's pretty much all I'm doing. Um, and apparently it's National Boyfriend Day today. <laughs> I don't know what those people are. I don't know what a boyfriend is. Okay. I got me the man's. Okay. And the man's, thank goodness, he's not around. I don't know if I spoke about this, but maybe I'll speak about it when I'm doing my makeup upstairs. But he's not around, thank goodness, because then <sighs> he's not around. Uh, so he's away and all of that, and he'll be coming back in the next couple of days. So that is good. That is good. I don't have to worry about it. In fact, he probably doesn't even know that it's National Boyfriend Day, basically. Um, so I got back home. I got back home, as you saw earlier on, unpacked a couple of groceries. Um, it's really just the weekly stuff, like produce mostly, uh, because I, I love produce, okay, for breakfast. I love adding produce in my dinners as well. I don't like to just have a starch and a, a protein. Sometimes I, I, I mix it up, lettuce, baby spinach, I mix it up. So that's fine. Um... So now we are going to go upstairs. We're going to do a face. But before we do a face, we need to figure out what in the world we are going to wear. I have a punk kind of outfit idea in mind. Okay. So I've, I, I've been itching to wear my pixie skirt again. I absolutely love that black and white pixie skirt. I'll put it somewhere here. I love those skirts so much. They are super comfortable. I don't have to worry when I'm in them. I maneuver, I feel comfortable, I feel glorious. But at the same time, I feel kind of punky and young and spunky and all of that. So I'm thinking that uh, I've got some really cute kind of like fishnet socks. <laughs> Socks, not stockings, socks. They kind of get up to my ankle. And then I'm wearing those. Shoe, undecided. I don't know what kind of shoe I would wear with that. Um, but I want to rock up there in a cool look, right? I'm going to do a red lip. So I'm thinking the the, the red uh, gougie bag, you know, just, just net for the culture. I don't, I don't particularly love big bags, especially when I'm going to events. I like to keep the bag very small or like medium size. You know what I'm saying? I really don't like keeping, you know. So because my lips are going to be red, I'm thinking bag be red. But now, <clears throat> also, most of my bags are black. Like literally 90% of my bags are black. So, you know, what's new? Um, issue emo. 
issue it's up top i'm thinking maybe a mesh bodysuit what do you even mean you know the mesh bodysuit have the bra peering there whatever something very similar to the look that i did on my shorts i did a youtube shorts where i was wearing all black and i had uh, my black full leather pants on from zara but i had a mesh bodysuit on top here and just uh, like a bra bralette kind of thing uh, underneath it and it looked pretty good so i'm thinking maybe i could do that meshy vibe because we're gonna have that fishnet vibe i don't know the whole point is i want to look cool i don't want to look i look elegant all the time with all the events that i attend my specific look is to keep it simple and to keep it elegant barely any jewelry just the outfit a great looking shoe maybe a necklace a ring or two watch call it a day um i'm not going to wear my apple watch for this one i am going to change and, and wear a very a, a nice watch uh but i don't know i feel like i just want to ring in spring looking cool funky and spunky you hear my chat so we're gonna go upstairs <laughs> my vlogs are going to be somewhat shorter especially if i'm going to upload two vlogs a week they're going to be a little bit shorter because i'm not going to do 40 minute vlogs twice a week i swear to you guys you might think i'm interesting i'm really not i go to work i come back that that's my life i cook i prepare stuff you know what i'm saying so i don't i, I don't have that life where i'm out and about all the time so the the vlogs for the sake of vlogtober if I'm going to have two vlogs in that week, they'll probably be shorter. So you'll probably get a 20 minute vlog, 20 minute vlog, 20 minute vlog at the beginning of the week, 20 minute vlog at the end of the week. Um, if it's one vlog, then I'll make it one long vlog and then three sit down videos in the week, something like that. I'll maneuver it that way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pour myself a drink and then we're going to go upstairs. Please don't ask me about October. I think I'm giving myself this week to kind of mentally prepare myself for October. Also because Diesel is going to be coming back on Saturday and, um, I've kind of got something prepared for him. It's a surprise. It's a surprise for grown-ups. So I can't really talk about it on here. Okay. But I know that there'll be drinking involved. We're, go we're going to have a couple of drinks here and then, all of that. So I can't. I'll have to start October next week. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let me pour myself this drink. Let's go upstairs. I want to this thing. If you guys know how to get rid of dark marks or what would be really good it is going away like it was really really bad guys let's be honest it is going away but it's taking forever it's annoying me so if you know a quick way you know maybe get a get i know color my nigga body pimples and link to a thing link to a thing man but yeah let's go upstairs let me pull this drink and let's go upstairs okay let's go